Hello everyone, welcome to our video tutorial about adding command buttons to a form. Command buttons help us to perform some actions that we may want to perform while working with our forms. So to access these command buttons, we are going to open one of the forms that we have in our database. And this form has to be opened in the design view. So we shall right click after selecting that form. Then we use the design view option. So from the design view option, as we can see, we are going to first of all create some space for the area where we are going to insert our buttons. So if you don't have enough space below, you can move your pointer if that feature appears click hold then move down having done that to access those command buttons we use this control group so and so from the control groups we have this button option so we shall click on that button option now when you move inside your form you realize that your pointer changes into a different uh, a different feature so this feature helps us now to insert the command button we want and to do that we are just going to click once so when you click once then this wizard is displayed for you so we are going to use this command button wizard to help us go ahead and create the command button that we want in our form. So if you decide to insert a command button in the form, it means that there are some actions that you want to perform. So in this di dialog box, the categories of actions are here as we can see. Then this way are the actions that they may perform for you. So to begin, let's try to see what the record navigation category can do for us. So we are going to use this option for next record. So we shall click on it. So when you decide to make this command button to go, for, go to the next record, it means that if you are in your form, especially in the form view, once you press on this command button, you will be able to go to the next record which is found inside the form. So if this is the action you want to do, then we shall say next. So when we click on next, we have this option again. So from these options, we can now decide to choose which one we want to work with. If you want to work with text, then you select this option for text. Then the sample information is here. So this is how this command button will be named. So if you want it like that, then you can leave like that. Then we go ahead and click on next. So when we click on next, then the wizard again will ask you what do you want the name to, to name the button. We shall leave this one as it is because we already have the sample of how our command button will be displayed in our form. So we shall just click on finish. So when we click on finish, we have our command button named as next record. So with this command button, you can decide to now move it to any point you want. You can enlarge it. You click on it. Then when that feature comes, you can enlarge it and it is big. You can use these points to reduce the command button size. So this is the command button we have inserted. Let's again insert another command button that can take us to the previous record to do that we are going to use this button again then we come inside our form we click once so when we click once we shall leave our option to this record navigation then this time we shall use this option for go to 
previous record then we click on next if you want it to be in this form as it is then we can leave if you want to use text then we can select text to be uniform let's select text then we click next and then finish when we click on finish then we have our command button also displayed for us we can go ahead and also try to reduce it to the size we want we can move it closer to this one if we want so we have made or created these two buttons let's first save the changes then we open our form in the form view option so we click on it now we are now on this first record as we can see from below here instead of using these navigation buttons we are now going to use this so let's click next so that we see the second record so when we click we can now see we have the second record so when you continue clicking the records are changing even from the navigation uh, area we can see the records changing if you use previous to go back then you can see that you can easily go back to the previous records so that's how we can add those buttons in our form let's again open our form in the design view and we try some other options so we shall click on design then this time we go again to the button option we come in our form we shall draw it from here so when you put then we are now going to use this option for record operation so when we click on record operation we have got this option this time around let's try to use this option for print record so print record after selecting it our main goal is that this button that we have inserted should uh, enable us to to display the print dialog box and we continue with the printing so after selecting print record come and click on next if you want to use the picture like we have seen we can leave it on picture if you want text you can select text so for this example let's use the picture then we go and click next and then we can finish so when you click finish in this uh, command button we can see the picture of a printer we can enlarge or increase on the size of this button as we want let's save the changes then we open this form in the form view so we shall click on form view now here we have our form view and now our interest is on this command button for printer so when you point or, t or when you point on it it displays for you print record so let's click on it and see whether it will work yes so when you click on it it works for you now you can access the print command where you can go ahead and print the record if you want just by selecting the printer that you have or that is connected on your computer so once you select then you come and click on ok now as per now we don't want to do anything we can click on cancel so that's how we can work with the command buttons to add these buttons into our forms however what we have to note is that there are very many options that we can work with to add these buttons in the form if we can check from the design view once again then we go to this button option then we click in our form you see there are options where you can work with form operations so you can click there so if you want to close 
the form then we can just click on close form then you come and click on next then there are other options like report operations where you can work with those actions applications where you can do that miscellaneous as you can see there so with form operations let's click on this close form option then we click on next so after clicking on next you can now decide on what to do if you want to use this option use it if you want to use text use it then click on next and finish then you have that button inserted for you the buttons will be inserted where you click so when you save the changes and then you open your form in the form view you will have this option to close the form let's see whether it will help us close this form so we shall click on it and then the form is closed hope you found this video tutorial useful to you that's it for now see you in our next tutorial